Good evening, YouTube. This is Zubair. I'm Sharif with uh, another video log. Uh, this is the eighth video in ethanol series and um, second video on workaround because um, all the six videos were, uh, sorry, seven videos were about the problem. Okay, how many percentages were there in the fuel? All sort of 13 fuels I've tested so far. Now that we know the problem, how to come out of this issue? So I have already made a video on um, workaround video number one. Actually, you can please check the description. All the video links are there in that and um, you'll find it really helpful. So now this is the workaround video number two. In this, uh, it's a combination video to make sure that, you know, uh, how can we, you know, reduce the ethanol percentage from existing E20, which is a standard all across and to make our E10 uh, vehicles run healthy. Because if you put E20 in E10, Maybe not now, after two or three months, you will see the problem arising in that. Okay, now how do you reduce it to E10? That is the question. So I have taken XP100, which is E0, and you can cross check uh, the videos as well. Uh, I have tested it, and even Autocar car has actually tested it. A uh, lap test and e, uh, XP100 is E0, and even Power100. Okay, so XP100 is E0, XP95 is 17% ethanol, and they will slowly and gradually take it to 20% depending on ethanol uh, availability. And same thing with the power 95, which is 17.33% ethanol and power 100 is zero. Now, XP 100 is 160 rupees per liter and power 100 is 180 rupees. So this is actually not feasible for many of us uh, to use it in a daily, uh, daily drive vehicles. So we need to work around this. So if you just check the workaround video number one, it talks about how to uh, use only the uh, ethanol, ethanol free fuel. Now let's come to the combination video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mix um, XP100 with XP95. Uh, so basically this time what I'm going to do here is exactly 30% um, 30 ml of XP100 and 30 ml of XP95. So it becomes 60 ml of fuel. Okay, and then 20 ml of water because normally ethanol test will always be done uh, with one part water and three parts fuel. So that is how it is. If you put 10 ml of uh, water, then it should be uh, 30 ml of fuel. So here 20 ml of water, so 60 ml of fuel. So like that. So in my previous videos, I've always done 25 ml of water and 75 ml of fuel. This time I'm doing 20 ml of water and 60 ml of fuel. So I have got two, uh, you know, uh, measuring bars here, completely kept aside for uh, different types of fuel. So I don't want any kind of, you know, mismatch or any kind of errors in the calculation. And I've got two separate, um, you know, uh, shaker bottles, one here and one there. And just for the accuracy, I got the syringe as well with the ml on this. Okay, so I've also already kept the uh, green colored water already ready mixed because I don't want to take much of your time. And this introduction video was very important so that you exactly know what's happening in this video. Okay, and if you want, you can actually increase the speed of the video by making it 1.5x if you want to do it. You can definitely do that. Okay, so now the next and also I have this another bottle here. This bottle, I'm using it for travel purpose. So if you go and fill the fuel quickly, you can do it. You can put 20 ml of water. Remaining 60 ml of uh, uh, you know fuel, which makes it 80 ml together. Shake it well, and then you'll get to know how many percentage of ethanol is there in that fuel. So this is actually a um, travel bottle to check ethanol on the move. Okay, so I'll just come with that video next. Okay, so now um, I'll be right back. I'll start off with the experiment right now. Okay, guys. So I'll quickly start off with this. So this time, what I'm going to do here is uh, in this um, measuring. Uh, uh, cylinder so first thing i'm going to fill 30 ml of um, xp 100 and then 30 ml of xp 95 so it is 60 ml and then i'll mix 20 ml of water in this okay so now xp 100 30 ml i'm going to fill it up so this is exactly this is a ethanol free fuel okay so i've just filled 30 ml of ethanol uh, sorry um, xp100 now i'll keep this bottle aside and 30 ml of xp95 so now this xp95 has 17 percent ethanol in this okay now i'll mix this and take it to 
60 percent in total so together we have 60 ml of fuel okay one second okay cool right so now we have 60 ml of fuel which is a combination of xp 100 and xp 95 now we'll quickly put 20 ml of water in this so to get 20 ml of water i'm going to use the syringe to get exactly 20 ml okay let's get this up okay guys so this is exactly 20 ml of water 20 ml of water now we are going to put this 20 ml of water in this solution okay cool right so now we'll allow it to settle down for some time and so i'm going to cover it up with this cover here Okay, so now I'm going to fill, I'm, do, I'm going to do the same thing with the power 100 right now. So in this, I'm going to fill 30 ml of power 100. Okay, it's gone slightly up here so let's let me just put it back a little bit okay so it is 30 ml of power 100 and i'm going to put another 30 ml of power 95 so which means we have 60 ml of combination fuel here okay so little bit more so i'm just going to put a little bit down here okay now if you cross check it is exactly slightly more because what happens here is you know uh, the evaporation will take place so it will even out so that's the reason i feel little bit more here so that when uh, it gets evaporated we'll get the right thing now again i'm going to Fill 20 ml of water. One second, guys. Okay, so you can see 20 ml of water. Okay, now I'm going to put this in this right now. okay great now if you cross check both the combinations are slightly above 80 okay so slightly above 80 uh, that is absolutely fine uh, because you know evaporation will take place and then we'll do the calculation as per 85 i think we'll do it yeah no problem okay so we'll get a approximate uh, you know uh, idea about how much ethanol is there in this so now that we have the uh, percentage here Okay, now that guys, I have uh, the combination. So you can actually see there's a slight decrease in the uh, level of fuel actually. It's already coming down to 80 right now. Okay, so that is 20 ml of uh, water and remaining uh, 60 ml of fuel. Now I have not yet shaken it. So I'm going to quickly put this into the shaking bottle and will then allow it to settle down. Okay, just give me a minute. So let me start with the XP 101 here. So I'll quickly go ahead and put it in the shaking bottle because otherwise it will not extract all the ethanol properly. So it's a combination of 30 ml of XP 100 and 30 ml of XP 95 with 20 ml of water, colored water. And once again, I'm telling you colored water will not have any kind of impact. And some people say it will increase ethanol level, which is actually not correct. Okay, so now I just kept it. 
so same thing i'm going to do this for the other one as well so this is for the experience let me first do it otherwise there'll be small some confusion let me cover this now let it not go below that 80 okay now for the xp 95 xp 100 combination fuel let us see what is the ethanol percentage coming up in the combination fuels so xp 100 is zero ethanol xp 95 is 17 percent okay so now that you can see exactly it is standing at 80 percent can you see this now now i'm going to cover it because we don't want further evaporation to happen now i'll show you i'll just show you in a very close way see. now can you see it is exactly at 80 percent see 80 percent now i'll not allow it to further go down okay so now i'll cover it and i'll do the same thing with the other one now okay guys now let's quickly do this for the uh power 95 and power 100 combination and i've got a separate uh, shaking bottle so uh, let me put this uh, quickly in this and then we'll take the calculation okay so i just want to make this these videos as uh, short as possible at the same time uh, no mistakes and you know problems with the accuracy okay so i'll just put the entire content in this now I'll quickly go ahead and shake this mixture. This is X, uh, power uh, 95 and power 100. So in this, the percentage was 17.33 in power 95 and power 100 is 0. Now this combination, I'm just going to shake it vigorously so that every drop of ethanol is extracted properly in this. I've just done this and I'll quickly go ahead and pour it back in the measuring cylinder. Now let us see if it like if it's coming to exactly 80%. Actually it has dropped down 80%. Let's see. That's the reason I kept it little bit on the higher side. Okay, so this will be an approximate indication. Let's see how it goes. Because I don't want to add any kind of fuel because we don't know because it will be okay now it is slightly lower I think it's uh, yeah slightly lower let me see if I can add a little bit of fuel in this okay so I'm going to add little bit of XP uh, power 100 and little bit of power 95 so God's grace, I've got a got steady hands, so I don't get that shake. Okay, so now I'll quickly fill power 95 combination. So to get it to exactly 80%. So these are small variation guys, so don't worry about this. It will be in 0 0.001, something like that. So you'll get a basic idea. Okay. Now I'll just show you, it is 80%. Okay, so this particular ink is actually outside the cylinder. So don't worry about it, it's not gone inside it because of petrol has actually melted that okay now it is exactly at 80 percent and the other combination is also at 80 percent so this is also at 80 percent okay so now things are settled down so now now let's allow it to uh, settle down for uh, say uh, half an hour or 20 minutes to half an hour okay so i'm going to quickly cover this with a lid here so that no further evaporation takes place Okay, so now these two me measuring cylinders will be like this for next 20 minutes. Okay, let's see what happens. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, the results are out. I have just kept this for 20 minutes to settle down. Uh, now, first thing, let me show you. Uh, it's exactly at 80%, 80%. There's a combination of 30% uh, of, of uh, uh, you know um, E0 fuel and 
30% of uh, ethanol blended fuel and 20% of water. Okay, so now let's have a check on the XP100, like you know, Indian oil combination that is XP95 and XP100. Now you remember I have put 20 ml of water. Okay, 20 ml of water I had put it. Now if you cross check, okay, so if you cross check, this has actually gone up here. So this is 20, 21, this is 25. So 26 is total water and ethanol together, 26. Okay, now just remember that it is 26. And now let's have a check on the power 95. So power 95, same again, this is 20% of water. Now the ethanol person has gone by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ml, uh, like you know, yeah. So it is a 24. Okay, so the XP100 and XP95 combination came 26 and this came to 24. Now let me take you to the calculation on this piece of paper. Okay, here I request you to just concentrate little bit guys. Okay, so now this is what the calculation is all about. Now XP100 is 0% ethanol, XP95 is 17%. Okay, so now this came up to 26% in total. So 6 divided by 60 because 60, 60 ml was fuel what we had taken 30 ml of uh, ethanol free and 30 ml of ethanol with ethanol blend. Okay, now if you cross check the E value has come to E10. This becomes E10. But surprisingly, Hindustan Petroleum's Power 100 and Power 95 combination has given surprising results. So Power 100 is 0%. Power 95 is actually 17.33% of uh, ethanol. Okay, in combination it gave 24. So 24 minus 20, 20 is water. And so remaining 4, 4, uh, 4 value is the ethanol. So 4 divided by 60 ml of fuel into 100 is 6.66. So this combination gives you close to 7%. E7, you can keep it like E7 and you can keep that as E10. So now definitely guys, you can go ahead and have a combination fuel to get these kind of results. Now I'm a little bit surprised as to why X, uh, Indian oil, even though it is 17% uh, has gone up. So I strongly feel that, you know, um, this could be the XP95 is actually hitting 20%. Okay, now this is exactly maybe at 17%, something like that. That is what, but again, margin of error will be there. Okay, so, but the good result here is in larger perspective, this is X, uh, Indian oil is E10, like basically uh, Indian oil XP95 and XP100 combination gives you E10 and power 100 and power 95 combination gives you 7% ethanol. So definitely guys, you can go ahead and do this combination and it'll work out. And one more thing here is right now, the E0 fuels are out of stock, at least in Bangalore. I don't know about other places. In Bangalore, it's out of stock. So they did not anticipate that the demand will go up. So all the petrol bunks have dried out. I luckily actually have the stock at home in metal containers. So I'm using it, but I'm very closely monitoring. I'm just checking with the managers to see if the stock comes back. And again, I'm going to refill it. Okay, so hopefully this video helps. Uh, please do check the description. All your questions, everything will be answered there. Everything is there. So you may ask me questions about did you do the fuel test for the other ones. Everything is there in the description. Please go ahead and check this out. And also guys, uh, I hope you like my video and please do hit the subscribe. But I see that 80% of the people are actually watching the video, but nobody is subscribing guys. Reason here is if you subscribe, you know what happens? It will reach a larger audience. See, I'm not doing YouTube completely for any kind of monetary benefits. Trust me, I'm not doing it for it. But I'm doing it mainly to create the awareness among people so that we bikers will still be able to pursue our uh, hobby of riding these bikes. Okay, so that's about it, sir. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, um, you know, prolong this video anymore. So I hope you like my video. Uh, that's it. Zuby the Rider uh, is signing off and the uh, workaround video number three is going to come. So keep a close check. Zuby the Rider signing off.